YOLO V9 is the new computer vision object detection model released by Jin Yao Wang and his team on 21st February 2024. In this tutorial, we will review how we can do object detection on images and on videos using YOLO V9 in Google Colab. Before you run this script, please make sure that you have selected the runtime as E4 GPU. Google Colab offers free GPU so you can use this. So in the first step, we will clone this YOLO V9 GitHub repo. So you can simply go here and you can just click copy this URL from here. And you can just come back to the uh, Google Colab notebook. And over here, you will write git clone. And here you will pass the URL that you have copied. So here you will just add the URL that you have copied. So now we will just run this cell and we will be able to clone the GitHub repo into our Google Colab notebook. And here you can see the complete repo which we have cloned. So YOLO V9 introduced two new architectures, YOLO V9 and Glenn. So in the YOLO V9 paper, two new architectures have been introduced. One is the YOLO V9 and other is the Glenn. Both model weights are available in the YOLO V9 repository released with the paper. So if you just go over here, so and if you just click on this version 0.1, and here you will find the Glenn model weights as well. Okay, Glenn C, uh, Glenn E, and YOLO V9C, YOLO V9E. So you will find the Glenn model weights as well as the YOLO V9 model weights. So YOLO V9 and Glenn come with four different models. One uh, YOLO V9 small, YOLO V9 compact, YOLO V9 medium, and YOLO V9 extended. So if you just go over here, you will find the list of models that YOLO V9 come with, YOLO V9 small, YOLO V9 medium, YOLO V9 compact, and YOLO V9 extended. Similarly, Glenn also come with all these models as well. So in this tutorial, we will see how we can do object detection with YOLO V9 as well as with Glenn model as well. So in the next step, we will download the pre-trained model weights from the GitHub repo. The weights for the YOLO V9 small model and YOLO V9 medium model are not available at the time of writing this notebook. So if you just see over here, uh, YOLO V9 comes with four different models, YOLO V9 small, medium, compact, and extended. But over here, you can see that we have only weights available for the compact model as well as for the extended model. And similarly, in the case of Glenn, we have weights available for the compact model as well as for the extended model. We have, don't have the weights available for the small model or for the medium model. So we have two weight model uh, weights available, compact and extended, while we don't have the weights available for the small or the medium model. So to download this weights, you can simply uh, click over here, copy the link address, and you can simply write wget, and you can add the link address over here, and you will be able to download all these weights to your Google Colab notebook. So I am just download all the weights. So I'm just downloading the compact and extended weights for the Glenn and YOLO V9 model. So here you can see that I have downloaded YOLO V9 compact model weights, YOLO V9 extended model weights. And similarly here, I've downloaded Glenn compact model weights and Glenn extended model weights. So now in the next step, we will set our YOLO V9 folder, which we have cloned over here, our YOLO V9 repository, which we have cloned into our Google Colab notebook. So I will just set this uh, directory or uh, I will just set, uh, change my directory to YOLO V9. So I have just changed the directory to YOLO V9 folder. So now we will install all the dependencies. So if you just see the requirements.txt file, in the requirements.txt file, we have listed all the requirements or all the libraries that are required to run the uh, to do the detection on images and videos. So if, if you want to install all these packages once, you can simply write pip install minus r requirements.txt. So it will install all the libraries dependencies that are mentioned in the .txt file. So I will just run this cell and it will install all the dependencies that are mentioned in the .txt file. So this might take few seconds before it gets completed. Now we have installed all the packages that are listed in the requirements.txt file. Now in the step number five, we will see 
how we can do inference on images and videos. First, we will do inference on image using Galen E model. So this is the best model uh, in the Galen series. So first of all, I will just download a random image from my Google Drive into this Google Colab notebook over here. So I will just run this cell and it will download that image from my Google Drive into this Google Colab notebook. And over here, if I just go to the YOLO V9 folder and over here, you will find the image one.jpg which I have downloaded. Okay, so now I will just write over here Python detect.py and here I will just pass the weights and which I have downloaded already above. And here I will just pass the image name in the source and device zero because I have selected the runtime as GPU. So if I just select CPU, then I will just write device CPU, but I'm using, I've selected the runtime as GPU. So I'm writing device zero. And now I will just run this cell. So if you want to get familiar with more about this command, you can just go to the GitHub repository. And over here, you will see uh, all the steps are written how to, uh, if you want to do inference with the Yolo V9 model, so you can write Python detect dash yule dot pi. And if you want to do inference with the Galen models, you can simply write Python detect dot pi. So I am doing inference on image using Galen E model. So I will just write Python detect dot pi. And here I will just pass the weights, file name and the source and device. So this is all you require. So now I will just run this cell over here. So the inference take few seconds. So it is about to be done. So now you can see over here, we are using Tesla T4 GPU and our results are saved in runs detect experiment folder. So if we just go to the Yolo V9 folder and here we have the runs detect and experiment and here is my output image saved. So I will just first from IPython, I will just import the image library and let me display my output image over here. So you can simply copy path from here you can remove this because YOLO V9 is already set as our print directory. And if you just run this cell over here, so this will display you the output image. So now you can see over here, uh, using Galen E extended model, we are able to detect the burst, persons, handbag, backpack. Uh, uh, we have detected traffic lights as well. And this is not the surfboard. So this is the wrong detection. Uh, one, there is one wrong detection, else all the other detections look pretty fine. It has uh, detected persons which are far away or blur as well. So now we will do inference on the same image using YOLO V9 extended model. So if you just go over here, so these are the best performing models, YOLO V9 extended. They have more number of parameters as well, and they... Uh, have good mean average uh, precision as compared to the other YOLO V9 models. So we are using the best uh, YOLO V9 model as well as the best Galen model, which is the extended model. So now, as I told you to do inference or image video using YOLO V9, we need to write over here, if I just show you, we need to write Python detect dash yule.py. So we will write over here, Python detect dash yule.py. And here I will just pass the weights name and here I've selected a source as image one. I'm using the same image and device as GPU. For GPU, I will write zero. So now I will just run this cell over here. So in the inference takes some time. So now it's using layer and you can see that we have a folder exponential two is being created. And inside this, we have the output image and let us uh, display this image output image over here. So you just need to find pass the file path over here. And you can see that uh, in the previous uh, Glen E extended model, we have one wrong detection, which is serif board, but uh, the, this is not the case with the YOLO V9 over here. So as, as YOLO V9 outperforms Glen E model as well. So now you can see that uh, we don't have any uh, false positive over here. And you can see over here, we have the sandbag, backpack, a bus, persons, and it has detected uh, persons which are quite far away or blur like you can see over here. So this is good. Now we will be doing inference on videos using YOLO V9 and Glenn E model as well. So let's first download a uh, sample video from the drive into this Google Colab notebook. I've already placed the sample video onto my drive and I'm just downloading that video from drive into this Google Colab notebook. So now you can see that 
this demo.mp4 video is okay now you can see this demo.mp4 video over here we have downloaded this so now i will just write write python detect.py and here i will just pass the weights file name and the source as demo.mp4 and device 0 for gpu so let's run this cell So now you can see that our complete video is being divided into 1314 frames and detection on each of the frame is being done one by one. So this will take some time. So let's wait for it to get finished and then I will display the output video over here. So this might take few more seconds before it gets finished. So the inference on this input video demo.mp4 is being done. We have used the Glenn E model. So Glenn stands for Generalized Efficient Layer Aggregation Network. Okay. So if you, I have also displayed the output demo video over here. So let me just download this from here and let me show you how our output looks like. So here we are using extended model, the best performing model among other Glenn models. So I have downloaded this video, so let me just let me just navigate my screen towards this video. So over here, you can see that we are able to detect. Uh, so this is a wrong detection truck, uh, okay? And this is also a wrong detection person. This is not the person, and this is also a wrong detection, and this is not a truck as well. So this is other wrong detection, okay? Else we have able to detect the cars, truck as well so the results look pretty fine to me so let's go back as well and now i will download other video uh, okay from here so i will i will just download the video from google drive into this google folder notebook and let's uh, run a glenn model on this input video which is test walk.mp4 so let's run this So I already told you Glenn stands for Generalized Efficient Layer Aggregation Network. Okay. So the complete video is being divided into 341 frames and we are doing detection on each of the frame one by one. So this might take few seconds to complete and then we will display the output video over here. The inference on this test box that MP4 video is also done and here is our output video. I have also displayed the output video into this Google Colab notebook. And let me download this video over here and let's see how our results look like. So let me just open this up. Okay, and let me navigate my screen. So over here, you can see that we are able to detect the person's handbag over here. And um, the results look pretty fine. Like you can see that, uh, but there are some false positives as well. So if you just see over here, this is not a tennis racket or this is not a Frisbee. So there are some uh, false positives as well. Like you can see over here as well, it's detecting at tennis racket or Frisbee, which is wrong. Okay. And if we just go ahead, so now we will see how we can do inference on these two videos, demo.mp4, testwalk.mp4 using YOLO v9 extended model. YOLO stands for you only look once. Okay, so if you just go over here in this GitHub repo, so if you want to do inference with the YOLO v9 models, we need to write Python detect dash dual.py. So we will run this .py file. And if you want to do inference with the clan models, we just write detect.py. And if you want to do inference with the YOLO v9 models, we use detect-u.py. So now I will just run this cell over here and I will do inference on this video. So let's see how does it goes. So the complete video is being divided into 1314 frames and we will be doing detection on each of the frame one by one. I'm using uh, the YOLO v9 extended model, the best 
our outperforming model among all the YOLO V9 models. You can see that YOLO V9 extended model uh, gives mean average precision on the validation set of the MS Cooper data set as, is 55.6%. And it has more number of parameters as compared to the other YOLO V9 models, like it has 57.3 million parameters. So like it is about to complete and let's see how does it go. So uh, 760 frames are done and let's wait for all the frames to complete and I will also display the output demo video over here. So the inference on this demo video with YOLO V9 extended model is being completed and I have displayed the output demo video over here as well. So let me just download it and let us compare these our these results with the Glenn uh, model results as well. So I will do the comparison over here as well. So let me just navigate my screen. So over here, you can see these are the results from the YOLO V9 extended model. This is around detection. Uh, the Glenn model is also detecting this as proc, but this is not the case over here. This is also false positive. Okay. So there are some false positives as well. Uh, but in the with the uh, Glenn model, they are more false positives, I believe. So these are the results over here, which you can see over here. So let's go back over here. Okay, so let's uh, run on this other video, test walk.mp4, and we will be using YOLO V9 extended model again over here as well. So now I will just run this cell over here and let's see how our results look like. We, on this video, when we try an extended model, uh, there were some false positive, like it was detecting potholes as frisbees or tennis racket. Let's see if, uh, if this is the case over here as well or not. So the complete video is divided into 341 frames and detection on each of the frame is being done one by one. So let's see how does it goes. Now I will just display this output video into this Google Pole App Notebook as well. So this will take a few more seconds. And here you can see all the models which I have downloaded from the repo into this Google Pole App Notebook. You will find all the names over here as well. So this might take a few more seconds before it gets completed. So the inference on this video is being done and here we have the output video. So let me just download this up over here. Okay, so let me just navigate my screen towards this output video and let me just play it from start. Okay, so now you can see over here, we don't have, okay, there are very less false positives. Okay, there is one false positive over here. Else overall, the results look pretty fine. Like in the case of Glenn extended model, there were more number of false positives like here and in this case we have quite less false positive so that's so good so in this tutorial we have seen that how we can do object detection using plan and yolo v9 models and we have seen that how we can do uh, run these models in google colab and do object detection on images and videos so that's all from this tutorial thank you for watching